Okay, everybody, future Donna here. And the video you are about to see is the second half of the video that I made when Steve was gone to see his mom, right? And so today Steve started making the video and <laughs> it was like three hours worth of filming. So we turned it into two. The first one that you saw yesterday or earlier today or whatever time you watched it was me trying to do the camera by myself and um, showing you the what sold, right? And then I decided I'm going to show you the shipping. So <laughs> bear with me on this next part because um, apparently the first part of it, I am a little bit frazzled and nervous. I don't know what I'm doing in the shipping department because that's not me. Steve is the shipping department. And so stick with me. And as we get farther into it, I become a little bit more interesting. Apparently that's what Steve says, but I'm going to tell you that I am funny and I make funny jokes or whatever so stick with me watch the rest of it and um let me know what you think okay here we go Oopsies. <laughs> Dang. First one, I wrecked it. Okay. I'll try again. Okay. So, I'm going to put the shirt in the bag. And then, a shirt in the bag. A sticker, a thank you in the bag. And then fold it over. Okay. Then we have to weigh it. It is 1.2. This is crooked. Oh my goodness sakes. I don't know how to do. How do you do this? Okay. 1.2. And then we have to do the dimensions, and he's got a tape measure. So the dimensions are 13 by 11. Whoa, that's 113. 13 by 11 by 3. Wow, they only paid $550 for shipping. And this is going to cost us eight sixty three. Everything else is more expensive than that, unless it's a book. It's not a book, so eight sixty three it is. Then print the shipping label, and then place the shipping label. Now, if I know anything, I know that my husband's a little anal, and he's going to want tape on the end. So it doesn't get caught and it doesn't open. So that's what we're gonna do. Tape the sides. I did it! Huh? I did it. You can't see the label. I did it. Yay! Okay. I'm gonna do another one like that because that was easy. Even though it costs more to ship. We're going to do these pants. These are the great big thick pants. Topi had a lot of weight on these guys. A wire heavy. Oh, a thank you. A thank you sticker. And then... Gonna Ooh. 
close it up, tape it up, because that's what my hubby would do, I think. Okay, so these are the pants with the lining, and they weigh three pounds and one ounce. UPS Ground gets it in at 7.08, so they're going to have to go to UPS because I'm not paying $10 for these because we only made five. So UPS it is. Print. The next thing, we'll send these jeans. We'll put them in this little bag. See if we can get it. Oh, thank you. A thank you and a sticker. Let's see how small. Does it make a difference if it's square rectangle in the price, maybe? I don't know. Print the label. I hope there was. I'm going to send a shirt. And then we're getting a thank you and a sticker. And then. Make that baby smaller. See if that saves us some money. See what we can do with this. And USPS Ground Advantage is five twenty six, and they paid five fifty. Man, we're cutting it pretty close, you guys. Five twenty six. Please work. Little Mun Mun. Okay, getting the fuzzies worked out, I guess. USPS, ground advantage. Woohoo! This is the yarn. So, that's not going to fit in there. That's too big. Decisions, decisions. So, we're going to do artist sticker. You still do this, Steve? Extra everything? Or have you begun to not do extra everything? I should watch you again. Oh, buyer's note. Thanks so much. They paid five fifty, and we have to pay who five thirty seven. And since she's a repeat buyer, we're gonna put some thank you stickers. Yeah. Now, what else is an easy? This Yu-Gi-Oh towel could. That's easy, right? Oh no. Dang. I forgot the sticker. And thank you. Why didn't you remind me? So, we're just going to put a sticker on the outside like that and put a thank you sticker. I don't think I said where the Yu-Gi-Oh was going. It's going to Arkansas. Sparkman, Arkansas. Oh yeah. I love it when a plan comes together. These little boxes we got from the electric company, 
they have stuff inside them, so we got to take the stuff out, but that's not a big deal. And they have um, skews, so I'm just going to mark through it and put the label over the top of that. But first, we're going to bubble it. I'm going to wrap it in bubbles. Yeah. Make a cozy little nest for it in there. Okay, put a thank you and a sticker. And we're going to put a piece of tape this way to hold it down. And then we're also. going around. This way. Alright. Let's do the coach purse. Found us a nifty little box. And that should keep it nice. We'll put put it Okay, I'm gonna do a bubble. Like this, like this, like this. All right, then. Nice. Then we have to take the label off. Nice. I like it when it comes off one piece. One of these ends. I'm going to fix you. Go see what kind of damage we did. Add a piece of tape. Santa Monica, California. Okay. Now what? Let's do. Do this little Hot Wheels oh, box works great. I'm going to put him in a little bag just because we don't want him to get wet or anything because he's probably a collector, collector's piece. So better safe than sorry. Put him in a little bag. Secure it with tape. Put a thank you and a sticker. So, <laughs> my battery died. And I don't know when it died. Oh, I'm in the dark. Okay. Woo, scary movie. Um. <laughs> My battery died. I don't know when it died or what you saw. <laughs> so we have that shipped, or not shipped, but packaged. And I told Steve that I would record it so that he could double check and make sure I did it right. So, jeepers creepers.
now you can't see what I'm doing. I don't know. So I was saying when I noticed it wasn't recording anymore, um, that we try and not use these boxes. We try to use um, boxes that people give us because we have to buy these. But I'm I'm not finding boxes that these cups will fit in. I mean. I can find boxes that they'll fit in, but not that there's enough room in. Oh my goodness, it's crooked. Oh my goodness. Alicia, how do you do it? She does all of it by herself. Like. <laughs> oh my goodness. And everybody's probably laughing at me. Just trying to help a guy out. That's all. And that's all the bubbles I have left from the bubbles that he makes because he didn't make extras when he got done. Ooh, I wonder, I wonder if I could do it. <laughs> Evil laugh. Look. Can we? Boy, this is a mess. Um, so there's the machine. Start. Do you have to hold it down? Maybe you have to do... Is there a power button? Ha! There's a power button, you guys. Look at that! Okay. Now, I'm pretty sure, I'm pretty sure it has to warm up, so you can either watch it warm up, <laughs> or I can bring you back. Okay, I'll bring you back. So, uh, all right. So we, we're going to make some more bubbles, right? We're going to use what we got for now. Thursday's child cup and we gotta wrap it up. Pad it on the inside. Okay, I'm gonna put a thank you and a sticker. Okay. Before, with Steve, I watched him do this. He just anchors one little side, and then he brings out the big gun, tape gun, and give it a shake. All right. Can you see where I'm going? Over there. Okay. I don't know why I don't remember these towns. I'm thinking, when I was telling you all where they were going, did I make it up or did I forget it? <laughs> I'll have to go back and watch the video before we ship it out because maybe I was nervous. I don't know why. Because we talk to you guys all the time. So, I don't know why I'd have been nervous. Maybe... Maybe just nervous that I wouldn't get it right. That I wouldn't do it right. But you get what you get and you don't throw a fit, right? Right. Okay. We got this little Garfield. Steve doesn't like tape and leftover stuff on stuff, so we we'll have to make sure it's clean. All right, put this little guy in here. A thank you and a sticker. 
Only missed one today so far. Okay. Garfield. Oh, it's beeping at us, you guys. Let's finish this and then we'll make some bubbles. Okay. I messed that one up. Had to pay 40 cents more than they paid. That's okay. Like I said before, it comes out in the wash. Balances out, right? Okay. Oops. Okay. Go back to orders. So that was a cha-ching. Let's see what it was. Let's see. Hoo hoo hoo. Your item sold for $90. Yo, what'd we sell? Oh my goodness. What'd we sell? Hewlett Packard. Oh, a scientific calculator. That's amazing. I'll get it out so you can see it. Okay. Let's see if this is the one. HP 32S. 32S. Roman numeral two, that's it. This sold, look at it, for $90, guys. We got that out of that Columbus storage unit thing, clean out we did. And that is going to, that is going to, Well, how come I can't see? Oh, because payment is processing. So payment has not processed yet, so I can't see where it's going. So I'll tell you where it's going as soon as I find out, okay? All right, now we're gonna make some bubbles. Steve's gonna die. <laughs> because I've never done this before. All right, we're just gonna push the go button. Oh, oh, oh. Washed and do it before. I feel like it's wasting some of the bottom because it's like pulling down. There. All right, there goes. You want to wash? The bubble maker. There we go. Are we having fun? Cool. I'm just going to let that go for a while. Alright. Okay. Next is next is this little horsey head. Look at that. He is the coolest thing. You know, reselling Sometimes, look, you can make his ears move. <laughs> Reselling, you find the coolest things, and it would be really easy to say, oh, I'd like that and that and that, but you know what? Therein lies the problem. Where would you keep it all? So, we just enjoy it, look at it, and sell it. So, put that in a bag, and we're going to find a box for it to go in, because I don't want it to get squished showed you guys these boxes we got from the electric company but I don't know if it was recording or not because the battery had died so these boxes are really cool but they have stuff in, inside them like extra cardboard and stuff so we gotta tear it out but that's all right a big deal. Oh my goodness, we're coming to the end. Check it out. Coming to the end of the roll. We'll push stop, I guess, when it gets there. <laughs> Kinda. And then, oops. I uh, will just leave that for Steve. Sorry, honey. But now we have a whole bunch 
We have a whole bunch of bubbles to fill this bucket up with. And he told me that he just rolls them in the bucket. I think he probably lets them fall into the bucket when he makes them. That's another thing that I had to learn the hard way. Okay, so anyway, we're stocked back up on bubble. Okay. Now, we're going to pack a horsey head. And because these little boxes have little air holes, he gets to go in a bag. See, he'll go in there just right nice, like that. Make sure his ears are straight. Okay. Oh, and we should push the off button on the bubble maker. Righty. Oh, I was going to put bubbles in there. You say, why? Why are you putting bubbles in there? I don't know. Take up space, I guess. <laughs> it's my first time, y'all. Okay. Okay. Gotta remove this little UPC thing more jigger with our handy dandy handy dandy little what do you call these again? Scotty peelers. And I don't know if you heard me when I was talking. I don't know if the camera was already dead by that point. But we got our Scotty Peelers on a link from Inked Picker. Inked Picker has a link to them on her uh, on her YouTube. So if you want a set of three, you can go there and get them. And saves fingernails. Or coming up. Don't know if I'm supposed to say this yet or not, but coming up, there may be an option whew, to get some Happy Heart Treasure. Scotty Peelers! Yep. We're making some with our name on them. And may or may not be available to attendees of Plains Profit. Steve may not like that I told you. We'll see. We'll see if he even sees it. He might not watch this far. We're going to cover up those little holes. Tape is our friend today. Okay, there we go. Horse's head. Did they pay? Is that what it says? They paid already. And they paid right now. So, this little calculator is going to... It says, thanks for the price. Have a nice election day. This is going to Glendale Heights, Illinois. So, that's cool. So we can go ahead and ship that little bugger out. What do you pay for shipping? Five fifty. Put him. Wrap him up. Plastic bag. 
save it down for safety. And then get some bubbles going on in there. Hey! Boop! Boop de boop! Thank you. Oops, and a sticker. Wonder if he's gonna need one on either end. So he doesn't rattle around. There we go. Oh. You can't see what I'm doing. It's funny. Is anybody else from Arkansas, like originally, like from the South? So I don't have an accent, I don't think. But after we get back from visiting family, it is a little more obvious where I've been. I was born in Hope, Arkansas. Mom says I was a month late. Always done things my way. <laughs> I don't know if that's a compliment or not. But she waited for me for a month to make up my mind that I was ready to greet the world. And I've been going nonstop ever since. So she says. What do you think? So if anybody is still watching or still listening, or maybe Steve will insert some of this packing, but not all of it. I don't know what he's going to do. But just want to remind everybody that we have a map. That's really noisy. Sorry about that. We have a map on the wall, and we are keeping track of where all our correspondence comes from. So, I'll show you that. There it is. There is our map. And if you look real close, you can see we've put little red map pins in all the places that people have left a comment from. So all you have to do is leave a comment on one of our videos and say, you don't even have to say your name. You can just say hello from wherever you're from. Hello from Lincoln, Nebraska. Hello from Texarkana, Arkansas, or whatever. And then also we have, we're going to put anything we get in our post office box, any kind of correspondence that's not a bill I suppose <laughs> um, we're going to read it and we will put it up on the edge of the map so I love to get mail I don't know if you saw that on the last video or not but I love to get mail so pop in say hello and tell us where you're from okay what's next I need a box that this little thing is going to go in. We're just going to keep shipping in these. Wow. This camera adds like 2,700 pounds. Doesn't it? Please. Right. a lot of scary things about being a reseller one of them was shipping to me I was scared to death to learn to ship and why you guys it's not that hard 
but I sure hope Steve gets home before I gotta ship the big stuff, right? Mm -hmm. Oops, thank yous. I do, I hope he gets home to, to finish it. But I suppose if I had to, I could, I could do it. I talked to my kid today on his way home from work. He works from hmm, three or four to uh, 1230 and I said, I have to do shipping. Come help me. I forgot what he put in there. And he said, I, I'll come help you, but I'm not going to be on camera. Well, that was the whole thing. We have to be on camera because we have to do a video today. Or we wanted to do a video today. That was in the, in the plans, right? So, I said, I'll give it a shot. I'll try myself. So, I'm doing it myself. You guys, I'm just seeing a note. It says, it's a gift. No price or logos. Does that mean I have to open it up and take the sticker and the thank you out? Because our shipping label says Happy Heart Treasures on it. Hmm. <laughs> Guess I better not put anything in there, right? Thank you, though. Thank you. It's okay. Hmm. Is that what I'm, I'm supposed to do? <laughs> okay. I did not put any thank yous in there. Okay. Now let's do this guy. He's going to go in. He's going to go in that box. Same size. Steve always taught me how to do shipping. And he always does a label as he goes. Because at our house, you could get interrupted at any moment with a phone call from a kid or... Parent, a poll officer, you know, or whatever. And so you could get interrupted because the dogs need to go potty or something. I don't know. So, we always, Steve, and now today, me, because I'm so experienced, I get to talk about how we do it now. But, so, we make the label as we go. Do you guys, if you guys are resellers, do you make the label and put it, you know, put it on the box and stuff as you go in case you get sidetracked or interrupted or whatever? Or... Wow, I'm sorry if that's really loud. So, anyway, do you make your labels as you go? Because, you know, every little thing could interrupt me like a battery dying on the camera. Kids might come over, kids might call. Timer might go off on the stove. You might have to make something for lunch. You know, something like that. So, let me know. Let me know what you do. Black goes. No. Won't go, Caddy Wampus. What was I thinking? What about this guy? What's this guy? Hmm. 
when they go in. Oh, they will. Okay, Dokily. Let's put them in a bag. Oh, I got two. Take the rubber band off. Put them in a little bag. A little piece of tape. Oh yeah, we'll go in there just nice. these bubbles. Put that in there. Thank you. Oh yeah, that worked good. Good thinking. Okay, what's up there? I didn't bend them. It was the box that I bent. I think we're gonna go this direction. Woo! This direction. Didn't hurt it. 40 cents again. 40 cents off. See? That's my kid. Oh. He's working on his backyard. You watch. Okay, look. You see this? You see how I put the label on and it's across the seam? You know what Steve's going to say? He's going to say, make it be on one side or the other, or put it this way so that the seam goes right here and not through the address. What do you bet? I'll wait to find out. But because I know he's going to say that, and I told you all he's going to say that, now I have to do it correctly. <laughs> right. have to do it correctly. The boxes keep getting bigger and bigger. Bigger and bigger. I wonder. Where does he keep the bigger, bigger boxes? Now I know. That's a big box. But I don't want it to get wrecked. Right? Don't want the glass to get broken. Or the little edges. Little edges of it to get bent. So. You want to see it again? This is a barometer. See? Hang on the wall. It's really cool. And I'm not exactly sure. It's got this piece in the bottom of it. Okay, so that fits better. And So we're going to go crisscross applesauce in the box, and then we're going to do that, see, tuck it in the side so it's floating, it's floating, my bed of pillows, okay, a thank you and a sticker, what do you think? 
Oh yeah. That works. Oh, so noisy. Somebody needs to make quieter tape. Right? Just trying to have a nice little conversation here and the tape is loud. Twelve by twelve by six. Whew. Right on the money. I might have to ask the more experienced fella that I married how to do some of this. Or the brickables. Keep forgetting to push the print button. I'll push the print button. So without showing you the address, right? Do you see there's the seam? I scooted it over so the label wouldn't be wrinkled by the seam. Let's just ask Steve if that's what he prefers. He's going to say yes. You know, it's kind of weird talking to yourself. That's kind of weird. But I'm not talking to myself. I'm talking to you guys, right? Okay. Winter Glen. Oh, my Atlanta, you guys. So never gonna be like uh, shed flips or any of the other youtubers that made these really cool videos can you hear me or is it too noisy these really cool videos of shipping things because If you grunt while you work, it makes it easier, right? That doesn't make for good viewing. But ooh, still need another little piece. Ooh, a little piece that just didn't finish. for that suggestion. Alright, I forgot what was in here already. Okay, the village. Okay. 12 by 9 by 9. Drum roll. Just a few pennies under. McPherson, Kansas. You know, being here in the middle of the country is fabulous because, oh, make sure you put the label on correctly. There we go. Because it's the same price to go anywhere, right? Because it's the same distance to get to that side as it is to get to that side of the country. So for all reselling purposes, it's best to live in Nebraska, right? Smack in the middle of everywhere. 
<laughs> oh, my fingerprints are on everything. Oops. Oop. You guys, are you going to send a critique to Steve? Is this going to fit in there? Ooh, 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 it does. Yeah, that'll work. Okay, so can't get very many bubbles, but we can use the skinny bubbles. Whoa, a little wild there. Put this in the corner, give it some stability. Put two of these in the bag. And Steve brought a bag that size, anyway. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know where you keep everything. If this was a long term arrangement, I would figure it out, but it's not. Right? Boop. Would you look at that? Okay. Can't have any shakage going on. We need a thank you and a sticker. Okie dokie. Boop. just realized I don't know how to do two things in one package. Hmm. Well now. Therein lies a bit of a problem. Huh. He said take it to myself to the box. So he said he'd be home about four. It's three fifty. He told me this one time, but I don't remember. Jeepers creepers. We're gonna have to wait and ask him. Then we'll both know. This is your topper order. But we, we wrapped it. Yeah. He's got another one down here he already wrapped. So there's that. Okay, we got this fur, baby. Let's see, what box? I'm gonna use up every single one of his boxes like this. But that's what it's about, right? So that's what we do. Do what we gotta do. To keep the customer happy. That is correct. Correct Amundo. So, alright, here's another little funny. We had a conversation with some friends on let's do two. Some friends on Discord, right? And <laughs> the little topic of conversation had me a little bit fired up. And so my friends saw a bit of a side of me that they didn't know existed. I'll just call it passionate. And like somebody said, not sweet little Donna. Is that the general consensus? Or is she the fiery redhead that nobody wants to mess with? Because I 
really don't enjoy that stereotype. However, that's crooked. However, I can go all mom there on you, on them, on whoever, if I need to. You know, any of you other moms out there have that feeling? I'm good. I'm fine. Till you mess with my baby. And then you're gonna get it. Wow, that was kind of threatening, I guess. <laughs> oh my goodness, you guys. Does Steve talk to you when he ships? I don't think so. Watch our videos. Furby. Oh, I hear the garage door. So does Daisy. We will have Steve come in and help us with this Tupperware thing. Hey. You having fun? Come here. You need some help. I don't know how to do this. Yeah. And they're on there watching you. We've been talking about you. Oh. So Steve's home. Um. So I packed this. I can't get down there. Do. Your feet are too big. Yeah, I'll, I'll manage. There you go. That's fine. Okay. So. Ah. Yeah. Oh, hi. <laughs> Mom's all right. Still in the hospital. The other kids are there, so uh, I came home to help my wife. But I'm almost done. Okay. I made bubbles. You made bubbles? I did. You did make bubbles. All and right. I used them. Very good. Okay, so I have Tupperware in here. This is the two order. Yes. I don't know how to do it, and I told them that you would tell us. Tell you how to do what? It's all packaged. Yeah. You just ship it under one. I ship it under the more expensive one, and then I copy the tracking number, put the tracking number in for the other order. Does that make sense? Okay. Oh, okay. Here's a question, you guys. Let's see what he says, okay? You're listening. Okay. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. I gotta... She made a mess down here. Complete mess. I love it. Okay, Let's... friends. Here we go. Which one of these is Steve going to choose? This way? This way? The seams in the middle. Or this way? <laughs> Which way is he going to choose? Which is the correct way to place your label? I'm, 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 I'm going to be completely honest. There's no right or wrong way. But what I do on these small boxes, I put the label on this side. <laughs> I'm totally and on wrong. these big boxes, I put the label on this side. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, but that's just what I do. So we are because it we doesn't. Did it then you don't wrong. have the wrinkles and you don't have the tape and everything. I did it all wrong. All right. <laughs> do you want me to redo it? No, no, you're not redoing nothing. No, 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 no. Okay, can you do this one then? I will finish up. You've done great. I will finish up. This is the Tupperware one. Let's let's say goodbye to the people. Okay. And then I will finish up. Okay, guys. I tried. <laughs> All right. But Steve is here to save the day. I didn't even know she was going to film, so this is awesome. I'm excited about this because I was, I was really driving back and i was thinking man i don't i gotta have because i wanted to film and, and ship everything and i didn't know she was shipping until a little bit ago and i didn't know she was filming so this is awesome so. and look friends you remember what was on the table yes this is all that's left that's it did you do the big box no you did i didn't do it yet okay i'll do it i didn't do the he already packaged it but i didn't put the label okay on it. All right, so that's it. Good job, Donna. <sighs> like and subscribe. Share with your friends. <laughs> Remember to pray for his mom and mine for good measure. But anyway, Lois, if you're watching this, get better fast. Yes.
Okay, since the last video, we did have two people comment with their towns that they're watching from. Yes. First one is Jenny. Jenny. Jenny from Gillette, Wyoming, right there. We have those. Yep. And the next one was Patricia, and she's watching oh, wait, from Peoria, <laughs> Illinois, right there. So comment, tell us where you're watching from, and we will put a pin on the map for you, and we're going to try to fill this freaking map up it's a big map so we yeah. got a lot of room for a lot of pins so we'll buy more pins if we need to yes we will <laughs> all right cool thanks for watching everybody bye bye